know, I've, I've been doing this academic pharmacy thing for about 43 years. Uh, it's true, I got my PhD when I was 12, so uh, <laughs> whatever it is. And, and, and honestly, the inspiration has always come from the students. Uh, they're, they're really what makes the administration and faculty want to go to work every day and actually the successes that you have uh, are probably the most gratifying things that, uh, that we could get. So th thanks to you all. Now I do, I do want to point uh, in, in the program, uh, identified, uh, all the students are wonderful, but identified in that program are students that have really excelled in scholarship, um, service to the community, uh, contributions to the program, and they're highlighted uh, in the program. These students were honored at our first inaugural awards banquet last night, uh, and I'd like the students who were honored last night to stand and be recognized. Now, Thank you. And we even have two students who made uh, page 39 of the Daily News. Oh, th thank you. So let's, let's uh, once again hear uh, from the uh, Cotton Club All-Stars uh, with a musical medley. on the screen a, uh, a montage of photos taken over the past four years of uh, your activities at the College of Pharmacy and on the outside. Uh, so while, while that's set up, why don't we look at the screen.
first, let's uh, let's thank uh, Cherish and 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 uh, Amy Am Amy Ramnath for putting that together. That was uh, really terrific. Uh, from, from the standpoint of a, a photo montage, you set a standard that I'm not sure is going to be able to be met by the classes that follow you, so it's uh, pr pretty sp spectacular. Okay, we're getting, we're getting close to uh, the time when uh, you get uh, on your way to becoming doctors of pharmacy. Uh, Dean Dutta, would you come to the podium? Okay, this is, uh, this is the time that you've uh, spent uh, four years waiting for. Uh, you worked very hard. Uh, you've done really well. And Dr. Dutter is going to help with the pudding and with the presentation of the certificates. Uh, a couple of other people are going to join us on stage. One is... Uh, Dr. Georgetta Vedin, Chair of the Department of Pharmacy and Health Outcomes. Uh, Dr. Z. V. Lowy, who is the Chair of the Pharmaceutical and Biomedical Sciences Department. Uh, Dr. Hina Faruqi, who is our Preceptor of the Year, who uh, some, most of you met last night, is going to help as well. And uh, Ronnie Moore, Senior Director of Practice Experiences. Okay, now you're going to be called. We, we had a rehearsal before, so hopefully none of us have forgotten what has to be done. Uh, to the stage to be hooded. Hola, Romina. Aviona. Olorobo Ajibulo. <laughs> Naomi Arie. Karen Avizra. Sarah Awad. Nicole Barron. <laughs> Renata Basis. <laughs> Abraham Bafar. <laughs> Serena Burmel. Chitra Bomek. <laughs> Heather Black. <laughs> Sheree Bird. <laughs> Susanna Karu. <laughs> Ramia Devaneni. <laughs> Navid Dusan. Erin Duffy. Charlene Dwarika. Ali Albasha. Charlene again. Alon Eliyahu. Yakov Fatakov. Pulkit Gandhi. Voiti George. Shoshana Gewertz. Gabriel Green Lemon. Rivka Hecht. Mofieni Inia. 
Charlene Iyahin de Mohammed. Thomas Jager. Ali Jaffrey. Janet Joseph. Nevedita Cariala. And Tella Tarafili. Shafina Lalani. Corinne A. Lakai. Joy Lazarus. Tu Yen Lee. Shwetel Meta. Violet Momo. Anne Nin Nguyen. Uche Obo. Geraldine Oquano. John W. Park. Duwani V. Patel. Ronak A. Patel. Chakum Travis Pham. Chakuma Pius Wabu. Christina A. Kwanza. Cherish Randolph. Lauren Remkes. Farabors Sani. Charles Santos. Priya Samnarain. Masha Tata. Barak Weingarten. Heather White. Cynthia Wilson. Doris Wong. Victoria Yagodayev. Ludovic Yumbi. Susie Yu. Ibrahim Zedong. And Atara Ziegler. Will the graduates please rise? By the authority vested in me by the state of New York and the trustees of Turo College and University System and the faculty of the Turo College of Pharmacy, I hereby confer those eligible students the degree of Doctor of Pharmacy. Admit them to all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Welcome, doctors, to the profession of pharmacy. Now I now, I now invite you to turn the tassel on your cap from the right side to the left side as a symbol of the conferring of the degree. Congratulations. Congratulations. We'll now take the oath of the pharmacist. So please, uh, you're already standing. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I promise, I promise to devote myself to, devote myself to, a, lifetime of service, to a lifetime of service 
to others through the profession of pharmacy. In fulfilling this vow, I will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns. I will apply my knowledge, experience and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients. I will respect and protect all personal and health information entrusted to me. I will accept the lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence. I will hold myself and my colleagues to the highest principles of our professions, moral, ethical, and legal conduct. I will embrace and advocate changes that improve patient care. I will utilize my knowledge, skills, experiences, and values to prepare the next generation of pharmacists. I take these vows voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with which I am entrusted by the public. Thank you. He said, I'd like to introduce uh, Dean Michael X. Scott, Associate Dean for Student Affairs. I too want to offer my sincere congratulations to each of you. As we close this very special ceremony, I must point out that everyone, everyone with us today has done something worthy of note, but there are many people here who will receive no degrees, no plaques, no honors, yet have contributed to the, to the success of our graduates in immeasurable ways. I am speaking of the parents, spouses, children, relatives, and friends who have helped and encouraged and, and maybe and maybe, and maybe cajoled and maybe even scolded while waiting patiently in the background while today's degrees were earned. I would now like all of our graduates to rise and turn and thank you with a huge round of applause for making today possible. Thank you. Please be seated. Dean Felber will now offer closing remarks. Well, the, uh, this, this day that uh, you've been waiting for since October 2008 is uh, just about over. Uh, and we really take pride in your accomplishments. And, and certainly the confidence that we have in your future and the things and, and the activities that you're going to contribute uh, both to healthcare and to your communities. Uh, I will say that uh, as I followed you the past four years, uh, you really have given me uh, immeasurable joy as I've watched you mature, not, not only as to become a really good practitioner, but really a solid citizen. And I, I really thank you for uh, providing that uh, enjoyment to me every day. Uh, before I conclude, I really want to thank, and we need to thank, uh, 
the appreciation for the many faculty and staff that really contributed to putting this program together. Uh, the steering committee that work has been working on for almost a year, this commencement, is listed in the program. But there are several people that really have gone well beyond what was needed to make this day a success. So let me thank uh, Shanna Young, Mary Clark, Yeshiva Brightly, Amy Remnett, and Hilda Numa for the act, the work put into this program. Will any members of the steering committee stand and let's give you a round of applause. Thank you. Good, good. Okay. I also want to, I want to give another thanks to Dr. Buford. Uh, this, we are in her facility. It's a marvelous, marvelous facility. It's, it's a wonderful venue for this graduation. And we do appreciate the, the hospitality and all, all of the work that the staff from the New York Academy of Medicine has put in. So let's, let's thank them for, for this day. I've got one, one last uh, group to thank. Uh, and it's a personal thank you. Um, and really it's appreciation that goes to my wife Renee uh, my son John, my daughter Jackie, who the last six years uh, has supported and encouraged me while I spent the time in New York away from the family in Athens, Georgia. And, and Renee, thank you for that. I ask the, uh, the audience to remain in your seats until the academic recession, which we follow by the student recession, has left the hall. Again, my warmest congratulations to all the graduates uh, and their families and friends. Uh, we do have a reception across the hall, and I hope you'll all join us there. Thank you.